Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers, once again welcome back to the daily cricket show cricket happenings again a very short cricket show with not much cricket happening I would say um, as you know nowadays my cricket broadcasts are getting much lesser as you know there's not much going on so there's nothing to really narrate a lot so again that's the same scenario uh, today as well so let's uh, look at um, so what we are going to look at we are going to look at some cricket news and uh, yeah basically cricket news and uh, some team news and uh, something like that so let's uh, let me start off or start off this cricket show uh, by let's looking at the as you know the one day international series now uh, is going on between West Indies and India the two one day internationals are over one was a washout the second one uh, resulted in India winning by a big margin and the third one day international is going to be played on Friday it's a five match ODI series and uh, we are looking at um, the West Indies actually uh, do, uh, doing some rejigging uh, to see the way that they could stop India in their tracks and in the process uh, they dropped two players uh, from the squad Jonathan Carter has lost his place and also um, uh, also the other player uh, Kiran Powell has lost his place the opener so let's look at what they have done they have brought in uh, uh, a guy by the name Kyle Hope now Kyle Hope is 28 years old of uh, 28 years old and he's the brother uh, of the um, uh, you know, current wicketkeeper batsman from the West Indies, Shai Hope. Uh, he's the brother of him and uh, he captains, uh, uh, he's the captain of the Trinidad and Tobago uh, domestic cricket team. Uh, so he has been brought, so he has been doing well as far as I know. Uh, well, he has uh, done well in the, uh, again, for the West Indies A team and also in the uh, WICB Professional Cricket League. Uh, also, he, he finished second on the run charts as far as runs were concerned. So that is as far as a bit of uh, Kyle Hope is concerned. Uh, so he has been some, he has uh, come and replaced uh, one of the players there. Uh, let's say Kiran Powell and uh, Ambris, uh, uh, Sunil Ambris is his name and Sunil Ambris uh, is also, uh, well, he has done it. Uh, in fact, uh, one, one thing that he has done well, uh, very notably, is that uh, he, he set up a Windward Islands uh, seven wicket win uh, against the Leeward Islands uh, where he cracked the double century. It was a 256 ball effort uh, which in, on which he scored uh, 231 runs with the help of 27 fours and 5 sixes. So Kyle Ambrose, uh, well, he's the seventh uh, best run scorer, I'm told, uh, in, the, in the tournament uh, at a good average. So, so basically, they are the ones, uh, Sunil Ambrose, so two batsmen uh, have actually entered the West Indies teams just to see uh, whether they could uh, do something here to stop India uh, so definitely they feel that uh, they are these two, these two guys are uh, really loaded with talent because the third ODI which is coming up uh, if at all India goes and wins it uh, West Indies have only one way and that would be to draw the series well as far as the team is concerned uh, well I, I'm, I mean uh, there's nothing to really talk about the team so Jonathan Carter and Kieran Powell have lost their places in the team <laughs> other than that uh, the team is the same. Uh, it has a sort of a real young blend there, no doubt about it. So that is the first news that I was uh, I wanted to speak to you about. Uh, the other news now, we are going to some general cricket news. Now, as you know, uh, the Cricket Australia CEO has been, is definitely passing through a very uh, rough time where uh, uh, Cricket Australia and the Australian Cricket Association uh, are involved in a pay dispute right now. And there's going to be a big challenge for James Sutherland, who so far has done a great job. The Australian CEO has been uh, um, has been the leader, has been playing the leadership role uh, for Cricket Australia for quite a long time. Uh, and now uh, this pay dispute is something which is really, really uh, testing him, no doubt about it. And also, Cricket Australia has come up uh, saying that the Australian uh, players uh, would be facing uh, bans as far as Ashes series is concerned. If at all they go and pro play in any of the disapproved matches. So since the, uh, the dispute is going on between the Cricket Australia and the Australian Cricket Association, so one could understand certain uh, matches which are not approved by Cricket Australia can't be played by the Australian cricket players. Uh, that's, that's, what, uh, my, uh, th that's what my understanding of the situation is. Uh, if at all anyone uh, feels otherwise, uh, well, you're always free to correct me. I'm always open to, uh, open to discussion. I'm open to argument i mean i'm open to everything eh? it's a very open cricket show open forum one could solve so basically you can come up with uh, whatever you feel about uh, it was also said that uh, saro ganguly uh, the former cricket player and uh, now 
a sort of a selector of Goche, he also says that the Kumbli Kohli issue was not handled properly. Now that is something that they have to judge about. Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, and um, Heat Streak, uh, who is the coach of the, uh, so the Zimbabwean team, which is currently touring Sri Lanka, has said that uh, the player retention is becoming hard. He has uh, mentioned a few good names. Now, the names that is mentioned is Gary Balance, uh, who nowadays plays for English cricket. Uh, uh, he's actually Zimbabwean born. And then they have those current brothers, uh, Tom Curran, you know what he did uh, against, uh, uh, against uh, the South Africans uh, in that uh, one day international, how, uh, how well he bowled and what a character he's forming to be. Now, Tom Curran and Sam Curran, the brother all-rounders, uh, are another ones uh, who Zimbabwe have lost. They are born in Zimbabwe, but they play for England because uh, considering the situation there and, uh, and uh, Tom Curran is doing a fantastic job after making his uh, ODI debut. And also, uh, Kyle Jarvis, as you know, he was uh, really coming up like anything, Kyle Jarvis, and that was the time he decided that it's, uh, it's, it's down to go to England. Uh, and also, uh, and let's not uh, forget about uh, Brendan Taylor, who has also uh, said goodbye. So definitely, that's what um, uh, Heat Street, the coach, has been uh, talking about. He's saying that the, the schedule is main, making, uh, it's making it difficult for Zimbabwe to actually hold on to the players so the players uh, really disappear uh, and start uh, playing for other countries and basically England I would say. So uh, and uh, De Villiers uh, uh, is probably uh, on the brink of test retirement that the news which came yesterday and uh, well uh, one feels sorry we know that De Villiers what a role he plays as far as South African cricket is concerned but uh, he also uh, Ibi De Villiers knows for a fact uh, that he has to be absolutely fresh uh, for the T20 and the World Cup, especially the 2019 World Cup, which uh, uh, A.B. de Villiers has grandiose plans uh, because South Africa have never won a World Cup. They've always faltered at the final. Even in the Champions Trophy this time, they, they, they faltered, as you know. They, they didn't even come to the uh, semi-finals, uh, 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 as we all know. Uh, it was... Uh, you know, England and Pakistan and India and Bangladesh. So basically, uh, so uh, definitely it, it is uh, time, it is uh, something uh, for A.B. De Villiers to ponder. A.B. De Villiers also probably feels that 2019 World Cup might also be his last World Cup as well. So uh, it's probably better to, you know, with a lot of cricket being played, it's better to probably uh, take some good rest and be fresh for the One Day Internationals and also so that, you know, uh, he's really raring to go. So, and probably that was the reason, so, but uh, that is something which is uh, coming up uh, for discussion for sure uh, with the South, Af so South African Cricket Board shortly. So one would know about it, but definitely, uh, it, it has definitely hinted uh, at A.B. De Villiers actually retiring from test matches, which normally a lot of uh, players do when they are coming to the evening of their careers nowadays. So that is something I wanted to share. Well, other than that, uh, there's nothing to really talk. So basically... It was a plain cricket talk and I hope you all uh, loved this uh, cricket talk of mine as I usually do. And uh, well, dear fans, uh, there's nothing else to really dwell on. It's about time to bring the curtain down on this cricket happening show for today uh, by bidding you all uh, a, a very good bye here. Thank you. <laughs>